Hello everyone, welcome to Brick Vault. Have you ever asked yourself the big questions in life? What does a boat powered by butterflies look like? If Porsche designed a spaceship, what do you get when you combine a cube from Portal, a train car, and chickens? What if a hammerhead shark had a robot suit with a hammer as its weapon of choice and that hammer had teeth? Well, perhaps only the kooky Lego designers of the world can answer these questions, and we are going to explore the answers. Today's another LEGO Top 10 Mocks of the Week episode. Links to everybody I'm showing off and more are in the description below. I present them in no order of best to worst, just a bunch of my favorite builds that I happen to see people building in LEGO bricks throughout this last week. Before we jump in, first let me just say that the custom building instructions that popped up in the web store this week have a somewhat Halloween-y theme. This is the skull from the designer Felix Gench. It's got that classic brick stack in style, the jaw opens and closes, and it looks pretty excellent when you put it next to a few pumpkins. Full video also linked in the description below. You can get the pieces before Halloween arrives, which is cool. And now let's jump straight into the top 10 mocks of the week. Alrighty, first up here is from a channel favorite builder, Mitsuru Nikaido has built another mecha animal. This time it is a velociraptor. The angular shapes in white that wrap around the head are my personal favorite area of the whole build. That and uh, I think maybe the talons on the feet look pretty excellent. This builder has some excellent models under his belt with this mecha animal style. This is no different. Great shapes. And if you watched last week's top 10 video, I did sort of make a subtle, not request, but I was like, I want to see more of these cool cyberpunk train cars from Blake Foster. And so after he built the locomotive and flatbed, there are now two more. This is the cyberpunk box car. And like the intro suggests, that's kind of what I was thinking. And there's definitely portal cube vibes in terms of the segmented corners but when you look close this really is just a basic car that seems to be transporting live chickens seems like in the future everything feels a bit uh, high tech even though <laughs> something like this doesn't necessarily need to be and then it would be really cool if you had like a cyberpunk train like this with several of these octan cars in a row this is the tanker car officially named and it's got three round drums of what look like octan fuel perhaps gasoline perhaps some type of futuristic hydrogen fuel or who knows what great gritty industrial metallic details that wrap around them and i've seen some massive cyberpunk city dioramas uh, in the past before it would be so cool to have a train like this running through the center all right we're jumping to number eight in the lineup this is from Fay bricks the title is in french but i believe it roughly translates to the serpent in the shadowy lake or something like that love the design for the tree really fat really fun tons of great layering and color color details for the terrain that leads up to the water and then our main moment of action with the serpent uh, raising its head and it looks like it might strike some of our heroes that are trying to escape the water really fun details great medieval fantasy type scene and then from moko let's check out his latest animal in a suit mecha series this is a shark exosuit and in quotations i see big hands well i suppose this mecha might need some big hands if it's gonna hold a big old hammer like this don't ask me how the shark breeds here perhaps those gills that are getting covered by some of the suit are feeding water into it there's a great energetic stance or series of stances i should say for this mecha suit and i called this thing a hammer at first but it really feels more like a meat tenderizer based on not just the pointed front but the fact that this thing can open and close a sharp toothed mouth as well super fun robotic design and now we're jumping over to phil brick this designer put together Humpback Whale. It's a current ideas project and a really fun display piece concept. It's really just a series of silhouetted shapes with the whale being sort of the main focus here. You've got a diver that looks to be going up to the whale's nose and a few other underwater elements at the base. The staggered segmented layering of colors really gives you an interesting idea of depth here. And if you wanted this to be a wall display piece, I measured it out. It's got to be at least eight bricks thick which is certainly a chunk that sort of hangs off the wall but not an unreasonable thickness in case you wanted to actually have something like this displayed in your house really cool concept would certainly like to see other builds in this same vein i think i have seen similar ones but 
maybe not builds that have quite as many layers as this. Anyways, we are now jumping down to Lego Nuts. This designer put together a build called Our Secret Campsite. This builder is not just well known for incredibly detailed scenes, but their ability to create light and focus and subject is really on another level as well. Without really having to explain it, you can see the family is uh, having breakfast. This looks like dawn. The kid is in the river, seems to have caught a fish. Wonderful fall colors are starting to appear in the trees. Some leaves are on the ground. It's just an incredibly warm and inviting scene that we have where this designer, I think, really focuses on the feeling you want to get from the build and works around the bricks to make sure that that is communicated through them. Awesome, awesome model. Now we're moving on to number four from Red Space Cat. The simple title is Frigate. This is one of many, many ship timber designs that have come out, that being a ship built in the month of September that's at least 100 studs long. And this one stuck out a bit just because it's got a nice, fun, sort of cartoony, smooth feeling to it. You can see some Porsche pieces have been used right there in the front to kind of round out the nose area. But really the whole model has a series of segmented rounds shapes that intersect with each other in a very clean way. And I also really like that the inside has some LED lights, but they have been covered by what look like solid white and then trans blue. This really mutes that super bright kind of uh, LED flare that you get in a lot of Lego models. It's a concept we've been playing around with a little bit in the studio, and it's a kind of nice way to reduce the pop of having lit bricks on the inside, but still catch your eye with a bit of glow here and there. It's a really fun model. Now let's jump on over to a wildly intricate series of rock arrangements from Chris Bricks. The title is The Rise of Dark Revan. The title says Dark Revan. I think it means Darth Revan unless in the comics the name changes or something. We have what looks like Revan at the base of this massive Sith temple. It's based in the Star Wars universe. Awesome details all over the ground. You can see skeletons and bits of supplies, a broken down ship engine of some kind. Love the design for the Sith emblem there at the top of the temple with those trans clear bricks and the rounded rocky intersecting shapes that you have on the edge of the temple really shows a unique type of build style to create this particular geological series of constructions. And now we're jumping on over to number two, Gail Spiller titled this The Winged Ship. It's inspired by a painting from Vladimir Kush and the concept is fairly self-explanatory. You've got this old style sail ship, three masts, and instead of three sails, you've got 11 unique butterflies that have all attached themselves to the ship instead. The construction for their wings are all incredibly colorful, tons of unique ideas for texture and shape. The designer didn't just add interesting uh, prints like for eyes and stuff, but when you start to look closer, I can see clocks and cookies and guitars, umbrellas, all kinds of things that are attached to each one. It adds for a fun, interesting type of unique flair, and it really highlights itself well because the ship itself, while certainly holding on to a level of ornateness, does not enter that super fantastical, colorful realm. And so you can see the butterflies really juxtapose themselves well against the base of the model. Excellent, excellent details. And let's finish off with a very abstract, interesting diorama from Norton 74. This is the Guardian of the Abyss and the Wolf Fenrir. The builder here says that this was inspired both by the creator of the Spiral Universe and by the illustration of an artist, Alexander Chateauhan. There's a longer passage in the description. Remember, you can click the links to any of these models all in the description below if you want to really learn more. But suffice it to say, we are looking at a house that is hanging over a canyon of some type and the guardian is not having a leisurely swing as you can see but is in some way a protector of the realm and there is a very not nice looking monster coming through the rock at the bottom. There really is some lovely shaping for the cottage that's hanging between. The roof design looks excellent. I love the builds for the different colored trees. And it's just a striking, striking kind of interesting scene altogether. Already, that's it for my personal favorite top 10. Here are some honorable mentions. The builder Robert4168 built the Buccaneers Dread. Beta Notice has Reed's Monster. This is inspired from a kid's drawing, which is really fun. Another ship timber massive model inspired from homeworld it's the Hygaran support cruiser from ryan olsen 
Callan titled this The Motorist. Rokan Chung's latest bust is of Vegeta. Here are some lovely little rounded rooftop shapes from Andrew Tate. The title is The Cooperage on the Quay. All right, that's all I got time for in this episode. There are so many cool links in the description if you got the time to check out some more creative stuff. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Yeah.